Hi guys, in this video we are going to set up and install React Native for Windows. First, let's go into the React Native documentation. So I'll go to React Native dot dev, and uh, then I'll click on development over here and go into guides. On the left hand corner, you can see environment setup over here, and when you click on that. Uh, you'll get setting up the development environments so you click on that and uh, you can see the uh, documentation for setting up uh, expo go and react native cli as we are not using expo today we are going to click on react native uh, cli and uh, then uh, for our development os we have to click on windows and the target os is android we are not gonna use ios since uh, for windows we can't build um, react native apps for ios we'll select uh, android and then here uh, the first thing we have to install is uh, node and jdk so they recommend uh, installing node uh, via chocolatey so it's a popular package name uh, package manager for windows so to install chocolatey Let's go into this link. I have uh, included all the links used in this video in the description below. Uh, after we go into chocolatey.org, um, we have to click on the address bar and then type a slash install. So if we go into chocolatey.org slash install, uh, they have provided the uh, steps for us to install chocolatey. So the first thing we must do is we must open up PowerShell. First, I'll open up the command prompt through administrator. I'll go into the search and um, search for command prompt and then I'll right click on it and run as administrator. Then the command prompt will open as an administrator. Then I will type over here PowerShell. This will open up the PowerShell. Now we are in the PowerShell. In the PowerShell, we should uh, run get execution policy. So when we um, Run that uh, if it uh, returns restricted uh, then we should set execution policy to all signed so here since i have already changed it is all signed right now so now uh, you should if it's restricted uh, you should run uh, set ex execution policy all signed so i'll actually run it over here i'll copy it from over here and i'll paste it over here and I'll again go into uh, get, uh, get execution policy and as you can see it's all signed over here. After that is done you can run the uh, following command. So I'll copy it from here and then I'll then I'll paste it over here and after I paste it it will install chocolatey. It will take a little bit of time. After chocolatey is installed, uh, you can uh, just type choco and uh, check whether it has installed properly. If it hasn't installed properly and you are getting an error over here, you can go into your um, C directory uh, and then to program data. And uh, here you'll have a folder named chocolatey. If you have one, just delete it and uh, uh, rerun this command, uh, then it will be fixed. Yeah, so after you do that, you can go back to the command prompt uh, by entering CMD and then you can again check here uh, whether uh, Chocolatey has uh, installed. So it has installed, it gives us the version over here. Now after this has installed, we can go back to the React Native uh, documentation and here uh, now we can use this command to install Node.js and the OpenJDK 11. So I'll copy this command from over here and then paste it over here. And then I'll press enter. Then uh, it'll start installing Node.js and OpenJDK in the same command. So after Node and uh, JDK is installed, I'll reopen the command prompt. And uh, if I uh, type here npm minus v, uh, it should give me the version of a uh, node that has been installed. So now uh, we know that node has installed successfully. Next, we'll go back to the React Native documentation. Next, uh, we have to install the Android development environment. I'll go into this link. And here, I'll download the Android Studio Giraffe by clicking this button. So I've already downloaded it over here. I'll uh, double click it and open the uh, setup. So after the setup has loaded, uh, we can click on next over here. And here, we can again click on next. And in the 
install locations, we can select the location we want to install our uh, Android Studio. So here I want to install it in my E drive. So I'll go to my E drive. Here I'll create a new folder called Android Studio. And uh, then I'll click on that and press OK. Click Next. Then I'll click install. So this will install Android Studio to that uh, specific folder. After the installation is completed, you can uh, click on next. And here uh, you can start Android Studio by uh, clicking on finish. So this will load up uh, Android Studio. After Android Studio has loaded up, you'll get a window like this. You can uh, minimize it for now until we create the React Native project. So I'll go to the downloads folder and I'll create a new folder called React Native okay, for my projects. And here I'll go into this folder and in the address bar, I'll type CMD and I'll press enter. This will open up a command prompt for me. Here I'll type npx uh, React Native in it and give my um, project a name. So it will be called test app and I'll press enter. This will create a React Native project for me. After the React Native uh, project has been created, we can travel into that directory by uh, typing cd test app. Uh, after we do that, uh, we will minimize the command prompt for now and we'll open the Android Studio back and uh, we'll open up the directory that we created. So we're going to see here in the React Native directory, you can see the test app that we created. And uh, here, if you open the test app, uh, you'll see an Android directory. So you can click on it and then press OK. This will open up the Android directory. Now, uh, this will load up a Gradle and all the necessary uh, things for uh, this project. So wait until everything is configured and uh, then this run button should turn green when everything is fine. After this turns green, you can click on this uh, no devices uh, button and uh, here, here you can go into device manager and you can create a virtual device. So I'll create one here and uh, I will, uh, you can select any device you want. So I'll select Pixel 6a for now and uh, press on next. Here you can select whatever Android version you want uh, and you can click on this but download button to download that uh, Android version. I've already downloaded uh, this version so I'll select that and press on next. I'll click on finish finally. Now that the Android emulator has been created we can close this and we can select that uh, device in the available devices section and then we can press on this screen. Uh, run button. After a few seconds, it will open up the emulator. Until the app is launched by Android Studio, we can go into the command prompt and uh, we can start the React Native server. I'm currently inside the project that I created earlier. So here I'll type npx react native start. This will create, a, this will create the React Native server. Once the app has launched, it will load the React Native default uh, template, as you can see.